halogenoalkane to amine SN2 reaction. Ammonia NH3 has a lone pair of electrons and a dipole, so it can act as a nucleophile. When reacted with a halogenoalkane, the reaction yields an amine. Here we have the mechanism for the SN2 reaction. We have a primary halogenoalkane, which is bromoethane. We have ammonia acting as the nucleophile. And just like in the previous SN2 reactions we've looked at, we get an unstable transition state where both the bromine and the ammonia are attached to the carbon. And then you end up with uh, amine. This case is 1,2 carbons, so it's ethanamine and HBr, which is hydrogen bromide. And the equation is C2H5Br plus NH3 gives you C2H5NH2 plus HBr. Halogenoalkane to nitrile, SN2 reaction. Potassium cyanide, KCN, reacts with a halogenoalkane to produce a nitrile which extends the carbon chain. The CN negative, or cyanide ion, acts as a nucleophile. Here's the equation for the reaction. The conditions are heat under reflux with KCN in ethanol. Here's the mechanism for the reaction, the SN2 mechanism. We have a primary halogenoalkane. The cyanide ion is acting as a nucleophile. We have the unstable transition state, and we end up with a three carbon nitrile, which is methethropanitrile, and the bromine ion.